this is not a spring chick, and can you guess? It's St. Patrick's Day. It's the color of the green, and I'm looking for a few little clovers, shamrocks, whatever you want to call it. And good thing I'm wearing some green today. Otherwise, I might just get pinched. Or maybe I shouldn't be wearing green. This is not a spring chick with Old Cam for OFN with comments in the headlines of today. China furthers its grip on Tibet. Olympics are going to really be something to behold this year. J.P. Morgan buys Bear Stearns for 1% of its worth. I know, there's uh, huge problems over at Bear Stearns. I think that it might have lost $20 billion in worth in a couple of days due to bad loans. Oil rises to new record as dollar drops. Uh, most of the markets overseas are afraid that Bear Stearns is the tip of the iceberg in this country. Cheney, Cheney to meet with Iraqi leaders. No, it's a PR thing. Fed takes new steps to ease crisis. They're making tens of billions of dollars available to investment bankers, but unfortunately the investment bankers have to come clean on bad loans, and board of directors aren't likely to do that if they can avoid it. Obama and Clinton teams trade barbs. Well, you know, race on one side, show the documents on the other side. More testing for drugs in water sought. I mean, have I mean, you ever watched public broadcasting or the Discovery Channel? They test so much that it's hard to believe that you could actually get something by the testing that's already done. Conservatives won a majority in Iran's parliamentary vote. Well, when they're the only ones running, if they didn't win a majority, I'd be surprised. Why the black church won't shut up. Well, because they're using the guilt trip just like the Jewish people do. Obama's right ties may be big problem. Well, you know, he, he's tied to a minister who condemns Americans unless they're black. Google says Microsoft's Yahoo buy might hurt the Internet. Of course, they're grabbing everything they can on the Internet. They just conduct, they were just in a, a phone uh, auction and they were tying up huge sections of the bandwidth so other people couldn't get their hands on them. So, you know, you know if the color is black, more and more athletes look like they are going to walk out of the China Olympic Games. They just don't want to get involved in something that could be a full skill. We've also heard they've been having problems with breathing the air, too. Yeah, the, the, it's so polluted that people have to walk around with masks on. New Pakistan Parliament convenes. Uh, basically, they're trying to figure out how in a democratic way to remove someone from office that was democratically elected in the office of president. UN police retake UN court in Kosovo. Uh, meaning Kosovo isn't quite as ethnic diverse as they thought it was. Five years after Iraq's liberation, there are worms in the water. There were worms in the water before. What does that have to do with liberation? <laughs> anyway, we're still living in an age of misperceptions of what blind people can do. Basically, a blind person can do an awful lot if they give them the opportunity. People are running businesses. I mean, uh, look at Ray Charles. That man can do a lot. Well, it also depends on how blind they are because well, not a spring chick used to be legally blind. Yeah, well, but a lot of people are Before LASIK, blind of course. that aren't really blind. Mm hmm. Like me. Yeah. Was. <laughs> Obama expands delegate lead over Clinton. Oh, he picked up seven delegates. Wow. All those free video clips on the internet come at a price. Advertising. It's the same as watching television. After election setback, a chastened Sarkozy presses on. A meaning that uh, the French don't like things that aren't done fast, and he promised a fast turnaround on the economy. Australia finds World War II battleship ends a 66-year search. Meaning over... Uh, Family over 600 people now. Their sons The justice's decision on the individual right to keep and bear arms under the Second Amendment could reverberate throughout the U.S. Well, it means that uh, state legislatures will then have to pass laws and pass a constitutional muster instead of just saying you can't bear arms because we don't want you to have it. It will take the media 10 years now to write its business model. The internet has been around for 30 years, it's still going to be 10 years before they can figure out how to make any money off of it. 
ignoring scientists is nothing new for Bush, but in this case, he also ignored the U.S. Supreme Court. Well, he, that's what he's the president for, is to ignore things. <laughs> you know, it doesn't, just because the court gives an order doesn't mean anybody pays any attention to it. Look at the Clintons. The importance of Fallon's fall. Uh, the importance is, is that the, uh, that when you're not actually in charge, you shouldn't go around bad-mouthing the people that are. Carlisle Capital Corp. announced late yesterday that it would wind down operations and liquidate the remaining assets in its mortgage fund. Uh, another company that's folded because of bad real estate loans. Investment bank Goldman Sachs will announce asset write-downs of $3 billion when it posts earnings on Tuesday. And unfortunately, that's just the first of the write-downs for them. Oh, Microsoft to license Adobe's flashlight. Uh, which is strange considering they're in the process of developing their own system. Xbox 360 shortages causing lagging sales. Well, Xbox has a history of keeping things off the market to drive up the price and the demand. It's nothing no that's not normal with them. Apple has delivered a mighty slap across the face to many potential iPhone and iPod Touch developers. Well, just last week they told people they wanted them to help develop for their system and then a couple of, actually it was yesterday, they told the very same people that they wanted their assistance of that uh, we've already found all the people we want, so go away now. Oh. PR nightmare for them. FDA standards for generics are questioned. Meaning that uh, you don't have to be as good as the original product to be sold now. Oh, that's kind of bad because you think the generics are, don't they say they're supposed to be as good as the brand? Not now. So buyer beware. That's right. Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. That uh, when when St. Patrick drove the snakes out of Ireland, he unfortunately didn't drive the snakes out of the Irish's pleasure. <laughs> Happy St. Patty's Day.